Hello everyone. Welcome to this new video of introduction to 1.7.1 Packet Tracer Lab of CCNA Exploration Network Fundamental Course. The goal of this course is to introduce you to fundamental networking concepts and technologies. These online course materials will assist you in developing the skills necessary to plan and implement small networks across a range of application. As you can see on the screen, this is a Cisco Packet Tracer software created by Cisco in order to perform networking lab in simulation environment. Packet Tracer provides a rich set of protocols, equipment and features but only a fraction of what is possible with real equipment. Packet Tracer is a supplement to not a replacement for experience with real equipment. This activity will provide an opportunity to explore the standard lab setup using Packet Tracer Simulator. At the bottom of these instructions are two buttons, check result which gives you feedback on how much of the activity you have completed and reset activity which starts the activity over. When packet tracer starts, it presents a logical view of the network in real-time mode. The main part of the PT interface is the logical workplace. This is the area where devices are placed and connected. The lower left portion of the packet tracer interface below the yellow bar is the portion of the interface that we use to select and place devices in logical workplace. When we click on the connection group symbol, the specific connection symbol provides different cable types that can be used to connect devices. The first specific type, the gold lightning bolt, will automatically select the connection type based on the interface available on the devices. When you click on this symbol, the pointer resembles a cable connector. To connect two devices, click the auto connection symbol, click the first device and then click the second device. Using the auto connection symbol, make the following connection. Let's connect the Eagle server to the R1 ISP router and again let's connect PC PT1A to the S1 central switch. Now let's examine the device configuration with a mouse over. When we move our mouse over the devices found in the logical workplace, as you move the mouse pointer over these symbols, the device configuration appears in a text box. A router will display port configuration information including IP address, port status and MAC address. A server will display IP address, MAC address, gateway information. A switch will display port configuration information including IP address, MAC address, port status and VLAN membership. A PC will display IP address. MAC address and gateway information. Step 3. Examine device configuration. Left mouse, when, you, when we left click on each device, we can see the device configuration. When we click on router and switch device, we see three tabs. The physical tab will display the physical components of the device. The config tab displays the general configuration information such as device name. The CLI tab allows the user to configure the device using command line interface. Similarly, when we click on server, then also we can see physical and config. Physical tab displays components of the device such as ports. The config tab displays the general information such as device name. When we click on PC device, it shows three tabs. Physical tab displays components of devices. 
config tab displays device name, IP address, subnet mask, DNS and gateway information. The desktop tab allows the user to configure IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server, dial-up and wireless. We will be discussing about all these different terminologies on upcoming videos, so please stay tuned. Now let's do the next task. So now the simple configuration has been done. So let's check the progress bar of activity. We can see the completion percentage is 100%. So we have completed this lab. This lab was only the overview of Packet Tracer, its different features and its importance on doing networking simulation models. We will be doing complex Packet Tracer activities on upcoming videos. So this is it for today. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.